Hey you, welcome back to Deal Therapy. Today I am sharing good deals found at none other than the Dollar Tree. This is going to be the haul that has mostly uh, Easter stuff. And also at the very end of this video will be what I already have uh, for Easter decor uh, from Dollar Tree. So stay tuned for that clip at the end. First and foremost is one of the things that I look forward to the most with every holiday at Dollar Tree. The Merry Cookies. I sincerely hope ooh, we're going to have to put these in order. Hold on. There we go. Much better. Um, I sincerely hope they never stop coming out with these. They are fairly good cookies. I mean, not the best cookie you've ever had in the world, but they're so cute. They're so easy to decorate with and they taste acceptably good. So it's just a basic decorated cookie, 2.12 ounces. And these are the four colors that I've seen. If you've seen other colors, please let me know because I will be on the lookout for those. Um, they look so good with the Easter plates or the spring fling plates that they have at Dollar Tree, which I'll be showing you in a little bit. Um, I think they would just look so cute. Even if you don't have a tear tray, you can set these out with just a little doily and you're good to go. There's not going to be anything cuter as far as like cookie decoration goes. And it saves you from making your own cookies if you don't want to have a whole bunch uh, left over or, you know, you're just not having that many people over or you don't want to eat them yourself, like as in my case. You just get these a uh, few and you're good to go. You're all set. These Palmers, I actually look forward to to these every year as well every palmer's product uh, that i find at dollar tree is not the best in my opinion but i love these bunny treats this is parsnip peats bunny treats double crisp carrots they're just really aesthetically pleasing oh this one is open we're gonna have to throw him out um they're really aesthetically pleasing in a bowl in a little you know dish i just think these look so cute and they're actually pretty good for the uh, dispensers, the Easter dispensers that are out there, I got these eggs. I hope that they're going to be able to fit through the little hole. Uh, I typically try to find the little cherries or the lemon head dupes uh, for that purpose, but I can't always find those. I've been having trouble this year finding those. I wanted to find them for Valentine's and for Christmas, and I had not. So I got these for that purpose. These guys, this is something else I look forward to. I guess I look forward to all the little treats. This uh, company is actually a German company. It is called Ludwig Chocolade, GmbH and Co. KG, member of the Kruger company. It's right over here. These, This is superior chocolate. That's the bottom line. And the fact that they have this little label and it's so festive and simple and it gives me a vintage vibe with the... Uh, color palette and just a simple design. I absolutely love these. They perfect for a little gift basket, perfect for basket filling, or just to set out for your decor. It's great, and the chocolate is good. To me, it has to look good and taste good if it's a food item. I just don't want it to be cute. You know what I mean? So, I love these. Then I got the these two. I typically pick up for each holiday as well. I love that they have. Um, the uh different shapes and things like that these are both bunnies this is the sour bright gummies by trolley and these are the warheads and these are a little bit more of a pastel color palette and they just are a bit smaller in size this trolley is three ounces and the warheads are 3.5 ounces they're a little bit bigger as you can see but these are going to look good just set out or filled in a plastic egg and they're really tasty. I always have to put the disclaimer, you know, not made of the best stuff. So <laughs> watch your intake if there's something that you're concerned with. Personally, I try to, um, but I love these little gummy anything I love. But these are superior. Both the trolleys and the warheads. And obviously the warheads are a little bit sour. Um, the trolleys are too, but I feel like they're more um, easily... You don't wince as much with, with the trolleys. So anyway, got these because they're festive and cute. I got these plates. These are the Spring Fling collection that I was telling you about. I had previous in previous years picked up all the other colors. Here they are here. This sort of like sage, uh, mint green, pink, uh, teal, turquoisey color and purple. 
and then I saw these and I think this is the only one that I didn't have in this collection and I absolutely love these as far as treats go or little um canapes crudités charcuterie past items whatever you need them for for entertaining um like I said you put a little doily on it or even without a doily and they look they, like they kind of serve as a doily themselves they are five in here five or six six there's six in here and they're so stinking cute they're just like little you know tea plates and i love them so so i got i picked up the yellow one for this year picks and you'll see all the other picks that i have picked up before in previous years they have different colors um in the clip later but this is purple i'm thinking i'm gonna do purple blues and greens this year or maybe yellow. everything but pink because i'm all pinked out from i think i did a little bit of pink for christmas and obviously for valentine's pink and red but i'm getting into purple heavily now I realized that it had a spiritual connotation while I was avoiding purple. But this is really cute. I love this purple. This kind of lavender-ish. I love all the pastels for Easter, but um, I picked that up for this reason. We got the pillowcase. It also comes in pink. I'm going to open it up here just to see exactly what it's given. It's sort of like a burlap feel. And you can either stuff this or actually put a pillow in it. It does have a zipper enclosure and it's a little bunny but i absolutely love it it's very cute um just a little bit of pop for uh either your dining room table even like depending on how big your chairs are or your couch or you can put this anywhere you can even frame it and put it on your wall if you like putting things on the wall like i do um i love putting stuff on the wall because i don't like cluttered surfaces like hard surfaces at all so Anyway, I thought this was very cute and it also comes in pink, but I just explained I'm avoiding pink for these next couple holidays because I'm all pinked out. I got these shaped gift bags. Uh, they're two pieces. People have been loving these uh, in the Dollar Tree community and for good reason. They're so stinking cute. They look a little bit more high end, almost like a linen and you can either stuff them, you can actually use them as gift bags. You can do so many things with these and it has a drawstring. And it's just really stinking cute. Like, more of these, please, Dollar Tree. I've seen the craft rooms do, um, and I think they're on IG, YouTube, and TikTok. So check those guys out. They did a Irishman with this, with a little Irish hat, and used this as his beard. Genius. Like, I just thought that that was so stinking cute. And, again, very versatile, high-end looking, and I just loved them. So I had to have them is a table runner that is three feet long i'm going to open it up because i'm interested in seeing the design in detail it's just like a little styrofoam i almost left it because i'm like for a dollar 25 i don't know but also i don't feel like you can find something like this for cheaper i actually oh look it has a little bunny here a tulip some eggs and yeah, that's pretty much it. But I absolutely love this. It's not too big. I mean, three feet is not a lot, but it's enough to sort of be an overlay to another um, either dining room table cloth or another runner. It's just the perfect amount of little pop and I love this color. And I mix all the colors together for Easter because that's sort of what it's about. Even if you don't celebrate it from the perspective of resurrection, or fertility um, spring as far as the earth goes gives you all the colors so it's nice to celebrate all the colors during this time at least in my opinion and for me I got this little tree I like they're giving us these trees for every holiday and I'm not mad about it this little sort of um, mint green vibe and if you look closely it has glitter very cute I only got one tree for some reason um, and they do have the Easter tree out there, the same tree that they usually have for Valentine's or for Christmas. So I only got one, but I think I'm going to reuse my white tree that I've reused also for Valentine's as well. 
and maybe reshape it a little bit for Easter as well but this is just going to be a little accompaniment you see it it is here there's just a little window you can stuff it with all kinds of goodies from a decor purpose or a treats purpose or a gifts purpose I just think these are nice to have on hand because they're so versatile and this is a gold one and I believe I have a blue one as well that you'll see later in the video I'm not sure if I couldn't find the carrot last year or I just didn't wasn't interested in the carrot because it was so orange but I feel like this against yellow and I've taken a picture that I'm gonna be posting to Instagram this against the yellow it actually is, is doing me right so I was like oh I hadn't really thought of orange from an Easter perspective before now but I'm really digging it so sometimes you see things in a different way just one year or two later and I think these are so cute. I know a lot of people are reminding us to make sure that the carrot is on there. Sometimes in the shuffle, you miss the actual little charm or the emblem and that's sort of like the point of these. So make sure that they're on there when you pick these up and that all your beads are sort of accounted for. It does like come um, separated because of this little tag, but just make sure they're all on there and sort of line the way you want them to. This you can like straighten out either with a steamer or something like that, just so it's it gives it a little bit more flow. But these are also cute and there are three of them total, I believe. I think it's a bunny and a chick that the other ones are, but you'll see it. I always get the ice cube trays for every holiday just because you can make a festive drink or um, melt your chocolates in here, do so many things with treat crafts and even resin, if you're into resin, um, you can do that. And these are the bunny butts, which <laughs> I just think are so funny and cute. Like I got these for actually making ice because I love to make festive ice for drinks. Usually they're cold drinks because I live in Florida, but um, any type of, you can even preserve your juice and pulp or anything that you do in here, even maybe make little fertilizer things, that's another idea. You can use these ice uh, cube trays for propagation, all types of things. So depending on what your creative needs are, I think these are fun to pick up just for $1.25. Then I got these Peeps uh, string lights and these LED lights, which are eggs. These are actually the Peeps brand and these are Greenbrier. At first I got two Peeps, but I actually really enjoy the color palette on these Greenbrier ones. It takes two AA batteries and they're just a great addition to any of your decor uh, stylings. You can put them around the tree, you can put them inside of like the egg container for instance and just like have that be the feature with some moss bunnies or something like that. There's a ton of things that you can do with these and I just think they're the perfect little pop of it. I feel like you always need a lighting effect with the decor and they're the perfect way to sort of do that without breaking the bank. Um, I don't have a timer on it so I always try to leave the battery somewhere that's inconspicuous but accessible so that you can turn them on and off easily but I absolutely love these. Then this was a sign that was out last year but because I'm thinking of I believe doing blue then I said do I want to do blue because you know um june 24th of july is coming up but that's more of an indigo um that's in the american flag but this is an actual like blue even like an aqua so i thought that that was a a typical color palette that could be fun uh so i just wanted it to have it available but i love the carrots in the back the truck is a motif that dollar tree gives us very often and i enjoy it so i picked this one up for this year but this was out last year already for Easter decor, um, I got these Easter eggs. Now, this one is sort of giving me um, Daenerys um, Game of Thrones vibe. It looks sort of like a dragon egg. I think, you know, Mother of Dragons, if you know, you know what I'm talking about. But I just think these are so cute. Um, lots of symbolism there if you're a person that thinks sort of outside of just it being decor, but how the symbolism and everything plays into your life this might be interesting to you to pick up and these are my absolute favorite of the ones that are available right now at dollar tree out of all of them they're just four in a pack i do have another pack and you'll see it in the video but these give me 1920s great gatsby um you know 
art deco vibes and they can be dressed up or down it has a little bit of iridescence to it and they're just absolutely beautiful and for a dollar 25 for four it's not a bad deal i just love this design so i got these just to have more eggs on hand you can either put these in a basket like i said fill them with treats give them as gifts i think a little um small alcohol bottle could fit in this if you get alcohol for easter that might be counterintuitive to some but you you can put things in it um and not just you know treats or whatever so i just think this is absolutely perfect it's also got holes i'm just noticing that you can feed through some twine or yarn or anything to sort of hang them on your tree if you're doing trees or hang them on your wall like i like to do and um yeah so they're versatile in that way these don't seem to have the holes so some of them have holes some of them do not so that's just something to keep in mind and yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one